to receive his words. Open your heart to receive his words. Yes, Lord Jesus. Give yourself away from him. Take over your word. Take over your word. Speak for your word, reply. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for taking over. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You are welcome in this place. You are welcome in this place. You are welcome in our hearts. You are welcome. You are welcome. You are welcome. You are welcome. We welcome you. We welcome you. We welcome you. The name of Jesus, Amen. Be awake after sowing. Be awake after sowing. Put your hands together for Master Jesus. Somebody. For many are in tears because when they sow, they cannot reap good fruits. Many are in stagnant because when they sow. They cannot reap good fruits. But today the word of God is telling us that we should be awake when we sow. Which means that some people are sleeping. Which means that when some people sow, they go back to sleep. Which means that when you sow good fruits, you go back to sleep. How do you go back to sleep? You go back to your own ways. After doing good, after sowing, you go back to your own ways. You go back to sin. You start doubting the word of God. You start doubting the promises of God upon your life. That alcohol which you are abandoned, you go back to it. That fornication which you are abandoned, you go back to it. That thing that took you away from God, you go back to it after sowing. After pleasing God with your seed. After planting a good seed, you go back to sin. You go back to sleep. You think it is over. You think you have done what is right and so it's enough. But the Bible tells us that God cannot be mocked. Galatians 5, 7. Our God cannot be mocked. You cannot please him now. And the next minute you turn your back away from him. Your seed will not bear good fruit. What you had planted will not bear good fruit. What you had sown will not bear good fruit, child of God. Today we are all called upon to be aggressive. Aggressive in sowing seed. And stay awake when we sow seed. And stay in Christ when we sow a seed. And continue to be strong in the Lord when we sow. Hallelujah. Sowing means planting. And when we plant, you will harvest. Hallelujah. What you will plant, the measure you plant is a measure you will harvest. If you plant a bad seed, you will reap bad fruits. But when you plant a good seed, then you will have awesome harvests. You will have wonderful harvests. Hallelujah. Whatever is manifesting in our lives today is as a result of what we sow. It's as a result of what we planted yesterday. I remember a message on this altar from the servant of God. Sometime last year, he gave a message that we should depend on the harvest of our seeds. Our life is turning around, is turning around the harvest of your seeds. What you had planted. If you are reaping bad fruits today, therefore you planted bad seed yesterday. But if you are harvesting good fruits today, it means you planted good seeds yesterday. And if you planted good 
good seed yesterday. Today you are harvesting good, good harvest. It means you did not go to sleep after planting. After sowing, you did not go to sleep. Hallelujah. The Bible tells us that we should enjoy what we sow to the fullest. Hallelujah. We should enjoy what we sow. Don't be angry with what you sow. Because the harvest is a result of what you have sown. And when some people sow and they turn their back away from God, what happens? The devil comes to plant bad seeds. The devil comes to plant bad seeds that will choke the good seeds that you have planted. And so what will happen? You will reap bad harvests. Let us turn our Bibles to Matthew 13. Matthew chapter 13 verse 24. We are going to read from verses 24 to 28. Another parable, but he fought into them, saying, The kingdom of heaven is likened unto a man we sow good seed in his field. His enemy came and sowed tars among the wheat. Hallelujah. Amen. When you sow and go and sleep, the enemy will come and sow bad seeds. Right on, Pastor Ta. And when his way, but when the blade was spring up and brought forth fruits, then appeared the task also. So the servant of the householder came and said unto him, Sir, did not thou sow good seed in thy field? Did not thou sow good seed? Did you not sow good seed? Did you not plant good seed? What is happening now that the result I am having is pain? What is happening now that the result I am having is regrets, setbacks, after I have sown good seeds? The Bible says that after you sow, I went and slept. The enemy came and sowed bad seed and went his way, child of God. When you sow, do not go back to sleep. The Bible tells us that the enemy is roaming around looking for who to devour. He is roaming around looking for that your good seed to destroy, child of God. But today, I speak to your life that whatever good seed you will sow, the enemy will destroy no more in the name of Jesus. You must reap the harvest of the good seed you sow in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. While men slept. The enemy came and sowed bad seed and went away. And then you will start wondering what is happening. What is happening with my life? What is happening? Things are not working. Because the enemy came and sowed bad seed. Hallelujah. Child of God, do not go to sleep when you sow. Hallelujah. Amen. Planting has a process. Planting has a, a process. All those who do agriculture, those who plant crops, they know it has a process. Hallelujah. You will clear the farm. You prepare the farm for planting. You make sure the, plant, the farm is clean. Those who are molding ridges, they will mold ridges to prepare the farm. That preparation of the farm is what? Cleansing, confession, emptying yourself. Hallelujah. Repentance. From your Egypt, preparing yourself for good harvests. Preparing yourself for good harvests. Hallelujah. And then what happens? You prepare the seed that you want to plant. You prepare the seed that you are about to sow. Farmers will separate bad seeds from good seeds. And at the end, they will plant the good seeds. Child of God, we are supposed to do what is right. Hallelujah. You will choose the seed you are supposed to plant. You plant what is good in the eyes of the Lord. You sow what is good in the eyes of the Lord. You don't sow any kind of seed.
let's turn to Galatians chapter 5. Galatians chapter 5, verse 22 and 23. The fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. Against such there is no law. Seeds, children of God's soul. They saw the fruit of the Spirit. Hallelujah. They saw the fruit of the Spirit. And so you must separate these seeds from the bad seeds. If you were not humble, if you were not gentle, if you were arrogant, aggressive, then you must separate yourself from aggressiveness to humility. Hallelujah. You must separate yourself from the things of the world and embrace the things of Christ. He wants you to sow. He even wants you to sow your time to him. Your time. Your time. He needs your time. He needs your sacrifice. Those are the good seeds God is expecting from children of God. These are the kind of seeds God is expecting. And so he's telling you that when you sow this kind of seed, do not relent. Do not fall. Do not be weary. Do not be discouraged. But instead stand strong. Do not go back to sleep. Be awake and be aware of the schemes of the devil. That he will come and destroy what you have planted. What you have sown. Hallelujah. And there is a time to sow. There is a season to sow. Farmers will tell us better. If we come to agriculture. It is not at all times that you sow. There is a time. There is a season to sow. Hallelujah. And so we must choose the appropriate time to sow. We must choose the appropriate season to sow. To plant what God is going to accept. And when we choose, we will not go back to sleep. We will not go back to our own ways. So that the devil will destroy what we have sown. There is a season. Hallelujah. And so we must be conscious of the things we sow. There is a place to sow. We don't sow anywhere. There is a place we are supposed to sow. Farmers will tell us that in the dry season, they will go to marshy areas to plant. Because that place will be the right place to sow where there is water. Hallelujah. And in the rainy season, they will tell you that they will come back to the mountains. Child of God, there is a place to sow. Hallelujah. There is a place. If we don't sow anywhere, you can sow in church. So in the life of somebody that will give God glory. That will bear fruit. That will, make, that will make God to appreciate your seed. Hallelujah. The Bible tells us in Matthew 13 verse 4 to 7 that what happened to the farmer he sowed on the way on the road and what happened? Birds came and picked them away. His seed did not grow. It did not bear good harvest. And what happens? It tells us again that it's so on sun, stony soil. And what happened? The sun came and destroyed the crops because he sowed on the wrong place. The sun destroyed the crops. The crops could not grow on stony soil. He says he sowed among stones where he was not appropriate to sow. And what happened? The wheat choked the crops and the withered and died. Child of God, there is a place to sow. And we need to go to God to tell us where we are supposed to sow. That will be appropriate for him. That he will accept. It is not in every man that you can sow. You can sow in some people, but it will bring pain. Where God wants you to sow. And you will reap good harvests. Hallelujah. And what are we supposed to do after sowing? What are we supposed to do after sowing? When we sow, it tells us that we should not go back to sleep. 
We should not abandon our seed. Don't abandon that, oh, you have already done what is right. But we should go back to continue to serve God. To continue to pray. To continue to worship him. To continue to study the word of God. To continue to fast. To continue to fellowship with God. To continue to live right with God. That is how to stay awake after sowing. That is how to be watchful after sowing. The life of our father Abraham. After he sowed, he did not leave the place. He kept standing there. He kept standing there. And while he was standing there to keep watch, he saw some vultures coming down to destroy what he was sowing in Genesis 15. To destroy what he was sowing. And what happened? He sent them away. Child of God, if you are not awake to watch over your seed, to watch over what you are sowing, the enemy will destroy. And then you will continue to lament about the God you are serving. Meanwhile, our God is an awesome God. It's a God who blesses and attaches no sorrow. Hallelujah. Father Abraham kept standing there until answer came down from above. Until fire came and consumed his seed and then he left the place with the assurance that yes, his seed has been accepted. Yes, his seed has reached heaven. Because he was awake, he kept watching. He kept watching that the devil will not destroy what he has sown. Hallelujah. Our God is faithful in keeping his promises. When he says that he will bless your seed, he will bless. He must surely bless in the name of Jesus. When you give him what he wants, when you stay awake, when you continue to stay with him, even after sowing, he must surely bless you in the name of Jesus. That is who God is. He says, give, he will come back to you. Give him good measures. When you give him good measures, he will press down, he will shake it, and then he will run over. That is his promise. What he says he will do, that is what he will do. That when you give him what he wants, when you sow what he wants, when you plant what he wants, what he has said, then he will surely come back to you. That is what he calls good measures. We don't you have to sow what you will not accept. Don't sow what you have rejected. Don't sow what you have rejected. What you don't want anymore. No, child of God. Sow what will provoke heavens. Will provoke open doors. Will provoke the windows of heaven. To open, to break loose the blessings on you. You have been in church for years upon years. What is happening with your life? child of God, so good measures and stay awake. Even in times of offering, you will not imagine what comes out from the offering basket. That when we come to take a vehicle to come to church, we are asking for cash. I beg change for cash. I beg you not get cash. I beg you not get cash to come and give God cash, coins. That is what you sow and you want to reap. Our God cannot be mocked. The measure you sow is a measure you will receive. You want big blessing, but you sow small. Child of God, who are we deceiving? The man of God, our neighbor, or ourselves, because we cannot deceive God. Hallelujah. We cannot deceive God. Our God is an awesome God. He reigns and lives on her. What he says he will do, that is what he will do. And so when you sow, do not go to sleep. For the enemy is around. Looking for ways to cause you pain. Looking for ways to devour the blessings that God has put in your hands. 
Therefore, we should sow quality seeds. Hallelujah. Quality seeds that will turn our lives around. For while you will go to sleep, the enemy will come to plant a bad seed. Then you will wake up without waste pain. You will wake up without poverty again. You will wake up without miscarriage again. You will wake up without sad letter again. You will wake up without setback again. You will wake up without rejection again. Child of God, be awake. Be aware of the schemes of the devil. The devil does not relent. The devil does not relent. And so we should not relent. We should also mount our schemes, strategies to destroy the devil behind our seeds. God must surely help us. He is faithful. He never said goodbye. His angels are around watching taking care over us. Whenever we call, our God will answer. He will never leave you. He will never abandon you. Continue staying in the love of the Lord. Continue staying under the shadow of the Lord. For he says that he that abides under the shadow of the Lord can never be destroyed. Plain. Abide under the shadow of the Lord, child of God, this day. And you will see the good and marvelous things God will do for you. In the name of Jesus. Amen. May God bless us his word.